I went to college at o Ole Miss, the University of Mississippi, and I got a telephone call from the chancellor one day, and he said, Harold, we have got to get the flags, the Confederate flags, off the campus. And I said, Robert, I think you're smoking pot. And he said, no, I'm not kidding you. He said, well, we've got to do it. And I said, why have we got to do it? And he said, you know, I've been here for one year. I expect to be here for nine more. And I want my legacy to be that I made this a great public university. And he said, as long as those flags are on, us, on the campus, uh, that will never happen. It will not, not be guard, regarded that way. And uh, so I reluctantly said, I, I'll come down and spend a couple of days with you and we'll talk about it. I'll talk to a lot of your people to see how they feel about this. And the feeling that I got on the campus <clears throat> was that I'm all for uh, getting the flags off the campus, but I am not going to be in the front row cheering that we have to do it. And uh, that came from all different levels. And uh, my last interview was with the coach of the football team. And uh, I said, Coach, are the flags affecting your football program? He said, they're killing us. And I said, will you go a little slower and tell me how that works? And he said, in the state of Mississippi, the best football players are black. And uh, with uh, the flags on the st campus, we are not getting our share of the black players that are going to other schools. And uh, Ole Miss was one of the few schools that still kept the flags on the stadium, on the campus. And uh, I said to Coach, I said, uh, Coach, you're the only person who can get the flags off the state, off the campus. And he said, why do you say that? And I said, your redneck supporters, as you describe them, will take your head off if you go in that direction. I said, they'd much rather have a winning football team than to have the flags on the state, on our campus. There was a trade-off. I had a lot of leverage. And uh, he said, uh, well, you may be right, but he said, I'm, I'm not going to get involved in politics or this thing right now. And I said, I want you to have a press conference and say, if you want a winning football team, you're going to have to take the flags off the statements off the ground, off campus grounds, so that we can put together a winning football team. And uh, after two games, there were no more flags in the statement. There haven't been since 1997. And uh, so the problem is, in most situations, you don't have that clean a trade-off. I can't give you exactly what you want or as much of what you want. Uh, and uh, th that is really, I think, the uh, key to, to changing people's minds about various issues. Mm -hmm.